Hey everyone, my name's Boston Blaisdell, and in today's Second Life University video, I'm going to show you how to use the new Avatar Welcome Pack to upgrade and customize your avatar completely for free. This is a major collaboration featuring some of the best designers in Second Life. I'll guide you step by step so you can understand what's included, how to apply each item, and how to mix and match everything to create your own unique look. And later in this video, I'll introduce you to Project Zero, Second Life's brand new streaming viewer that lets you log in directly from your web browser. That means no downloads and no need for a high spec computer. But before we get to that, let's dive into your free avatar welcome pack. If you're brand new to Second Life, Start by typing join.secondlife into your browser. Enter all the requested details, including your username, which will be your public name visible to others in World, and click Create Account. Most Second Life residents use a desktop application to run the World, which is what we'll be using for the first part of this tutorial. You can download the official Second Life viewer for both Windows and Mac OS. Once you've logged in, you'll probably land on one of the Welcome Islands. Look for this icon on your screen. When you hover over it, it will say Avatar Welcome Pack. Click on it to open the Avatar interface. Here you'll see a grid of six pre-styled avatars. Just click on any thumbnail to instantly wear the avatar of your choice. These three avatars were created by top Second Life designers, including mesh head and body specialists, Leluca and Legacy along with clothing and hair creators like Do and Cold Ash. These looks are just your starting point. You'll probably want to customize them further. To do that, it helps to understand how your avatar is built and how to apply different skins, hair and clothing. So let's take a look. Everything you need to customize your avatar is stored in your inventory, represented by a small suitcase icon. Your inventory has two main sections, Inventory and Library. Expand the library and scroll down until you find the Avatar Welcome Pack folder. Now the first thing we'll do is right click and copy the folder from the library. Then right click on My Inventory and select Paste. This is a one-time setup step. It moves the folder into your personal inventory so you can access and edit it more easily. Now collapse the library and expand your main inventory. Inside the Avatar Welcome Pack folder, you'll see four subfolders. Let's go through these step by step. We'll start by swapping this avatar on the right to something from the Mail Bodies and Looks folder. Inside you'll find three options, A, B and C. Each one a light version of the popular Lelutka heads and Legacy Bodies. Mail Body A is the Gen Head with Legacy Body. Mail body B is the Ford head and legacy body. Mail body C is the Eon head and legacy body. Open the mail body A folder. You'll see each component, including the head, body, skin, and animation controller. You could apply each piece individually by double clicking each one. But in this scenario, the faster method is to right click the root folder and select replace current outfit. That removes everything your avatar is currently wearing and instantly applies everything in this folder. This avatar is now wearing the Gen Light head and basic legacy body with no clothing or accessories yet. If you want to try another body combination, just go to the next folder, right click and select replace current outfit again. The avatar is now wearing the Ford Light head. And in the final combination for the three male bodies, Folder C uses the Eon Light Head. All of these bodies and heads are of the same high quality as the paid versions, but with more limited features which we'll cover. The same process applies for the female bodies and looks folder. Inside that folder, you'll find three options. Again, light versions by Lelutka and Legacy. Female body A is the Ceylon Head and Legacy Body. Female body B is the Briannon Head and Legacy Body. Female body C is the Avalon Head and Legacy Body. For the Ceylon look, right click the folder and select replace current outfit. You'll notice as the avatar loads in that the proportions, facial features and skin tones are unique to each setup. It's worth trying each one to see which best matches your preferred style or vibe before adding clothing or hair. Here's the Briannon look from the female body B folder. 
and the Avalon look from the female body C folder. Now that your base body and head are set, let's apply a styled outfit. Going back to our male avatar, in your male bodies and looks folder, you'll see three pre-styled options, casual, club, and sporty. Open one, right click the folder, and select add folder items. To change from this outfit into one of the other compiled looks, you may think the best thing to do is to right click and replace current outfit. However, if you do that, you'll probably end up looking like this. The issue here is that we've replaced all of the items with the contents of this folder, but you'll notice that there's no body, head, skin, or animation controller in these looks folders. To fix the issue here, one thing I could do is go back to my male bodies folder and choose add folder items. The key thing to remember here is that replace current outfit overrides and replaces everything, whereas the add action will just layer the additional items on whatever is currently being worn. To keep things tidy, it's a good practice to remove items before applying new clothing. When I'm building avatars, I often toggle between the worn tab of my inventory to understand each of the items that the avatar is currently wearing. Just select the folder that the clothing or items belong to, right click, and select take off folder items. Then we can just click any of these pre-style look folders and add folder items like we did before. For the female looks folders, the same method applies. First, I'm removing the clothing from this male avatar. Next, I'm replacing the Eon avatar body with the Briannon avatar from the female body B folder. Then I'm opening up the female looks folders and adding the contents from this female club look folder. You'll very quickly get used to the rhythm of replacing versus adding items to build your avatars. Just remember to always check what's listed in the folder before adding or replacing the contents. Here I'm taking off the folder items from this club look and then adding the folder items for the female dress look. A bit later, I'll show you some shortcuts for saving and applying your own custom outfits, which will speed this process up even further. To really make your avatar your own, explore the male items and female items folders. Each folder contains collections by different brands and you'll soon start recognizing their names as you spend more time in Second Life. For example, Do is a popular hair creator in Second Life. In the female items section, they offer two hairstyles with different color variations. Here I'm removing the brunette hair from the worn tab and then in the Do female items folder, adding the blonde one instead. The naming convention they've used on these items is SML, representing sizes in small, medium and large. Now for some clothing items, you'll see objects named alphas. These are additional components that help correct any clipping between your clothing and body. For items in the avatar welcome pack, simply wear the alpha included with the clothing. If you swap clothes, remember to remove both the old clothing and its corresponding alpha. For all of your looks, you can also refine your avatar's body shape and facial features. In the Second Life viewer, right click your avatar or name tag, then choose shape. You'll now see a panel full of sliders for adjusting everything from height, shoulders and torso to facial details like eyes, nose and lips. Feel free to experiment here Move the sliders a little at a time to see how each one affects your look. When you're happy with the changes, click Save As to create a new version of your shape. That way you keep the original from the welcome pack safe and can always go back to it later. Let's talk about animations. Your avatar's body language comes to life through animation controllers, often called animation overriders or AOs. These control how your avatar walks, stands, and idles. The animation creator OMI oh has provided separate animation controllers in your male and female items. These are preloaded with a complete animation package, so you don't need to configure them or do anything. However, in the brand folder, you can also access these individually, which may be useful if you want to use specific ones for photography or videos. Just open the item and click play in world to activate that particular animation. Once you've styled your avatar, 
it's a great idea to save your outfit so that you can easily switch between looks later. One method of doing this is to right click your avatar or name tag, choose my outfits, click the wearing tab to show all the items your avatar is wearing, save as, and then give it a name that makes sense for you. You'll find all of your saved outfits in the my outfits tab. From there, you can simply click wear to replace the entire avatar with your saved outfit. We'll look at this again in the next section. Now that we've created and customized your avatar, let's look at another exciting update. Project Zero, Second Life's brand new streaming service. Project Zero lets you log into Second Life right from your web browser without downloading anything or needing to install the viewer. This means that you can explore, shop, or hang out with friends, even on a computer that normally couldn't run Second Life. Once this feature is fully rolled out, simply open your browser and go to zero.secondlife.com. Enter your login credentials and wait for Second Life to load. And that's it. You're in World, streaming directly through your browser. From here, everything functions just like the desktop version. At the bottom toolbar, you'll see the familiar buttons plus some additional ones, including Go. Click Go, choose Avatar Free GIFs, then hit Teleport. Once you arrive, you'll see vendors offering free avatar add-ons from a variety of creators. Many of these are also included in the avatar welcome pack, but you'll find some new additions here as well. Click on a board to instantly receive your free items. They'll appear in your inventory. You'll notice a couple of UI boxes pop up on screen. These actually provide a different and perhaps quicker way of managing your outfits. The first box shows everything your avatar is currently wearing, while the second displays the newly received items. The first step is to save your current outfit. Since we already saved this one earlier, we can skip this step for now. By toggling between these two boxes, you can highlight individual items, add new ones, or remove others with just a click. This offers a more visual and interactive method, great if you prefer to fine tune your look piece by piece, rather than replacing entire folders at once. If you close this box and want to access it again later, simply right click your avatar and choose now wearing. This will reopen the same view, showing all items currently being worn. Once you've made your changes, save this new outfit and give it a name. Now that we've saved several different custom looks, let's try them on. As before, right click your avatar, go to my outfits, and select the outfit name you want. Then click Wear to instantly apply it. This is a great habit to get into as it saves time once you start building a larger collection of looks. And the more you experiment, the more you'll start to recognize which creators and styles you enjoy the most. Over time, you'll build up your own library of go-to outfits, whether that's casual day wear, fantasy roleplay looks, or something completely unique to you. When you're finished, you can close the streaming viewer by clicking the Me menu and choosing Exit Second Life. The Avatar Welcome Pack gives everyone, especially new residents, a quick and easy way to create a high quality, fully featured avatar, completely free of charge. And with Project Zero, Second Life is now more accessible than ever, letting anyone jump in instantly from almost any device. Together, these projects mark an exciting new chapter in Second Life's evolution. So whether you're customizing your very first avatar or checking in from your browser halfway across the world, there's never been a better time to dive in. That's all for today's Second Life University video. Let us know in the comments what you think of the avatar welcome pack and the new streaming viewer, and feel free to share any topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you soon.